Hey, what's up? It's Dirty Mac. We back at Big Yogi's Garage. All these fucking dogs around this bitch could build a sand One day I'ma be a grandpappy. I ain't never met my granddaddy. Feel like John Gotti. I might pull up in a wild body. Little bro, I'm slamming nigga out. He try to side on me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Big Yogi's Garage. Today I got back Dirty Mac. What's up, brother? What's How up, you man? Been? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back to the garage. Hell yeah. How you like the new how you like the new setup? Man, this shit is sweet. You gonna let me shoot a music video? <laughs> yeah, that's how I, I, almost yeah. every almost everybody that, that does music, they ask me if they if they can shoot a music video. <laughs> yeah, yeah I might have to one day like, you know, let people, you know, rent it out or something. I don't know. <laughs> For real. I'm, shit, I yeah. I'd be interested. I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. Yeah, because you was a guest in my last studio. And now, and I, I wanted, I wanted to make sure I had an open, I, I had an open spot. So I, I actually seen like this week, I didn't have anybody, and I was like, man, I'm looking for my guest this week. You already hit me up, and you said, you know, you wanted to come and talk oh, to definitely. me. And then I seen, and I seen that you had a store. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh yeah, that ain't actually my store, but I'm um, really, it's a really good uh, friend or acquaintance that I really, he's. Um, I don't know, I really just met him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But he's a great dude, and I like what he does, and he got a lot going on, and I'm glad he let me be a part of that, yeah. you know what I mean? I just got, we bought a bunch of retail clothing racks and just filled it up, and I got like, I was, I kind of got a bunch of different stuff going on for real, because everything I put in the store, I made all that stuff myself, mm -hmm. and well, as far as you knew, I made everything myself, but yeah. oh, I got it, these are, this is mine too. Yeah. Born in the '90s, but we trapping like the '80s. You know, okay. I got. I was trying to bring different yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like this you know, one you right here. That's my favorite yeah. one. Low Life Club. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Low Life Clothing. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's that's your brand. Yeah. So okay, so where's the store at? So people can know. Uh, 2903 Door Street. Higher Thoughts Smoke okay. Shop. Right across the street from UT campus. Okay, right across Come from check UT. Check us out. Yeah. Okay. What's well, so they say? Um, we're the uh, first to open and the last to close. So you know. Okay. Gotta pop in there. All right, so okay, so um, so the store is a smoke shop, but they actually gave you a space so you can sell your shirts. Yeah, and then how did it's how did they even find out about you for you to even, um, was it like what through Facebook? Uh, yeah, honestly, they had um, made a post. Um, it's like uh, well, really, my sister and my brother in law they work at like in um. What would you call it? Like uh, everybody buys from them. Maybe like some type of hub where you mm -hmm. get like your tobacco products and your breeze pens and you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. All okay, that kind okay. of stuff. Yeah, All like a like a wholesale shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they work at the warehouse, so okay. they like supply all the stores and shit. So they actually know them people. And then the guy made a post said that he was looking to you know what I mean for a little. Get some clothes in there, do okay. business, and um, yeah, he said I was the first one to hit him up, and we just kind of hit it off. And he yeah. said he was uh, like my energy and yes, how sir. I was on my shit and yes, pulled sir. up and dropped my shit off, and I bought all them racks and put them in there, and you know what I mean, filled yes, them sir. up. And hey, man, you you're because the thing is, if I had a store and I had that situation. You would be the one of the people that I would go to because you're dedicated, motherfucker, bro. Uh, yeah, I you ain't never stopped, dude. Ever since, it. like, ever since I met you, like, you told me about that you just started, like, the you know selling shirts at yeah. your basement, dude. You've did so much. I'm so proud of you, bro. Like, Thank for real. Like, you're Thank straight you from the real. mud, bro. Straight from the <laughs> mud. Because this is not the first time I had you in the podcast. So well, I already definitely. know a lot of your story. You know what I mean? Last podcast, you guys can check it out. It's an episode. I don't remember the number of the episode, but all you it's gotta do is look. I look it up all the time and show people. Just look up Big Yogi's Garage and then Dirty Mac. Yep, you know, and it'll it'll shit. pop up, and you can see his story. You know what I'm saying? His whole story. This this gentleman man right here is did not have an easy life growing up. So for like for you to even make it. You know what I'm saying? And I know you got way more to go. And you got different vent, different things. Tell me a little bit about the other, like you had a sauce or something? Tell me oh, barbecue yeah, sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, we got the barbecue sauce. For sure you got to tap in. I was, mm. really, it's kind of delayed. Um, I mean, personally, I made the barbecue sauce myself too. Mm. So really I could do it like on some personal shit, but I really ordered um, uh, like a 
big old boxes of barbecue sauce. Yeah. I ordered my own labels. I really should have brought you like an empty yeah. bottle or something. Yeah, we should have just brought I really you. did that. I looked up. I got the fucking nutrition facts. Like, I really got everything. Mm-hmm. That's really smart, bro. Barbecue sauce. Bro, that shit's <laughs> smart, bro. Like, okay, look at me. Like me, I'm doing all this health and fitness stuff. Like one day I, I would like to have my like big yogi's brand, like sure. to to do like a healthy snack yeah, or yeah. a healthy protein drink. Man. Like the dude prime, like them guys that yeah. like they started all that, they're billion. Yeah, they're like I don't, super honestly, rich. I don't know that nothing about nasty. this. I feel like this is like some younger. No, but it's stuff. nasty. That's yeah. nasty, bro. I tried it too. It's gross. That shit's sure. nasty. But like you're doing, you're doing the. That's perfect. A sauce, Hell clothes, yeah. like you got the keychains. Hell yeah! You got me a keychain. You got the keychains. And you know what's crazy? I just try to bring it like, uh, like everything I do really is like kind of like a stepping stone like to my music because mm. everything I got, look, the tag of your shirt, the tag of my shirt. You know what I'm saying? The everything patch. is still Dirty Mac. This. That's me. That's my music. Dirty Mac. That's my um, so, logo. How, yeah. How's the music evolving? I know we talked about the music. You know what I mean? Last time you uh, came on. Let me see if I can get this thing. Last time you came on. And uh, so what's, it, what's, it, what's been going on with the music ever since? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I took a huge break from yeah. music. I probably ain't dropped nothing in like a year. But this month. I think, how many songs we just dropped this month? What, <laughs> four, five songs maybe I just put up? Yeah. And um, they'll be on all platforms within this week. And um, yeah. I, I seen, I heard one to, today or yesterday or something. Okay, yeah, that's probably yeah. one of the new ones. I've that was dope. kind of promoted a little bit. Yeah. But it's been working though, because I see it's been going up. And um, I just linked up with um, Young Mo, the uh, videographer or the mm-hmm. video man. He's like probably one of the most uh, mentioned in the city. You know yeah. what I mean? Everybody yeah. messes with him. Shit, everybody knows Mo. So yeah. I tapped in with him. We got some stuff going on. Some stuff we got to, we're about to do. I actually did a video. I ain't paid for it. And the video was horrible. I wouldn't even consider it. Mm. Um, I wouldn't even put my name on it for real. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh. He said he'll fix it for me, mm-hmm. so he's gonna do that. And then I got like a bunch of footage a while back, and um, he said he's about to. He said us enough footage to make a um, a video out of mm-hmm. it. So he said, send me the song and send me them videos. He sent me his email and he's like, man, I'm gonna put something together for yeah. you with this. So I told him I'll look out for him with that. So that's two things, and then. He said he wants to do another video on a song I just did. So really, you got to be looking out because You're this gonna, is kind of like this is my year where I'm yeah. really about to do something on my music. Actually, okay. kind of, okay. um, I'm really about to start taking it serious. Cause Take honestly, it. I just make music so I, we can ride around and listen to it. For yeah. You know what I mean? I've yeah. been making music like you said. We already established this. Since 2018, uh, yeah. this, this is the year where I'm actually, I still ain't got no video or nothing, so. Okay. This is the year where I'm about to do it. I've been linking up with a lot of local artists as well, and uh, yeah, they got to, I'm really, I'm about to start doing this thing for any local artist, so if anybody wants to reach out, mm-hmm. um, promote, promotion, if yeah. you want to do, um, I'll let you wear I'll give you samples for your videos. You okay. know what I mean? You shoot music videos or you take your music serious, mm-hmm. then the shit I'll provide you with a little t shirt or something. To, okay, you know like a I mean? collaboration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like people get um, come to you, you give them like an outfit they yeah. can wear in their video. Exactly. You like that's like mean? a cross, cross uh, collaboration. Well, yeah. They don't have to pay for clothes and you get, you know what I mean? Yeah, bit. most definitely. But yeah. I'm really just looking at it like more. The less, that's just more eyes, you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. Whoever watches your videos, whoever you are in cahoots with, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's kind of like... comes across it. You do that for me, like, because you, you did that for me. Like, I you, I, I got, like, a, a few shirts when I, I, I use them to work out with yeah. on my workout videos. And then I you always bring me a shirt to wear for Most my podcast. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know what I'm saying? Like that's a free shirt. Like oh, I'm yeah. wear this, I'm gonna wear this for sure. You know what I'm saying? Until until it gets like kinda old and stuff, and then I'll get a new one. That's more what, eyes. You know yeah, I mean? and then whenever my shirt gets wore out, then I'll be like, Hey, I gotta get dirty Mac on the podcast. 
I need a new shirt. I need another one of them shirts, man. I need a new shirt. So how, okay, so how's the family? How's the kids, the wife, all man, that? The kids are doing great, man. The wife is doing great. I know, know you got mad kids. Yeah, you know, yeah. my son, he's getting big. He's, he's a big one. Yeah, because I, I, that's handsome. the one I seen earlier when I, when I was on, oh, on yeah? the phone. Uh-huh. He said, what's up? I said, what's up to him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my son. He be rapping. I was talking about the baby. You know, last time. Oh, the baby. You know, oh, yeah. last time I was on there, I had a baby. It was, it was like days, like a couple days after you had the baby. Yeah. It was like a little baby, right? Yep. How, how old is he now? Uh, what is like he? One? Like one? Eight months. Oh, so he's months. not even one. Yeah, so then, okay, so we haven't, our podcast was about that long ago. Yeah. Yeah, right when about, you had the baby. I think it was like eight months ago exactly, you're right. Yeah, it was right when you, it was either right, it was right when you had the baby because he was little. Yeah. Yeah, he's huge now. We named Damn. we nicknamed him Tiny Man, but he's like he's not Tiny Man. Oh no. Uh, no. <laughs> he ain't that's tiny good, nowhere. Bro. Yeah, that's good. Like I, I, I remember in the summer and stuff, like um I seen like a bunch of you know, what I mean you every time you guys went out, you guys were selling clothes like at these Oh yeah. Yeah, yep. tell me a little bit about that. What yeah. what, what happened this summer? Cause you know what I mean, I haven't talked to you in a year yeah. in eight in eight months. I don't even so, um that guy hit me up out of nowhere. That was kind of cool because mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know him from a can of paint. No, I do. <laughs> He's a great dude. But that was. I'm just saying that was cool that he stumbled across me because I didn't know him whatsoever, or yeah. even how he got a hold of me. But he was inviting me to these events. He got the food truck. His name is DJ Caution. You guys check him out too. Mm-hmm. Um, he got the food truck. They do um, events for kids, like all kind of free events at the um, at the Frederick Douglass Center is where mm-hmm. we were doing those mm-hmm. at. Um, in the summer, it's better in the summer. Everything yeah, yeah everything. Like, summer, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But uh, it was cool for the kids. We did like a little, they had like roller skating and stuff out there. There was a bunch of food trucks out there. There was a bunch of vendors out there, mm-hmm. kids everywhere playing around. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It was cool. We made... Um, we made a lot of money doing that though yeah. i did it probably like four or five times during the summer that's cool because you like that you get your name out there and yeah. you get to sell some clothes exactly yeah so it's almost like a win-win right for the both first things. time the first time we did it we was out there i was late as hell i felt bad i was like two hours late uh, and i felt like shit because that ain't me at all you know what i mean i try to be on time for everything <laughs> i was late and um he was cool about it so we was only there for like four hours. We made like almost seven hundred dollars. The first yeah. one, and then the second one, I made like three hundred bucks. Yeah. And then it was like consistent, like two hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I made like two thirty. Yeah, but 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 also you're getting eyes looking at your Most brand. Most definitely. Everybody. Some people just walk by and be like, oh, okay, low life clothing. Oh wow, cool. And then just at least it's in there in right. their brain. You know what I mean? And I thought it was really cool because now even um, his daughter, a lot of people's um, kids be like, man, I go to I went to school. I seen uh, some yeah. kids with your clothes on. This yeah. And that. And yeah. they be all geeked up about it. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, bro. I know yeah, that. Yeah. I know that feeling because when I was a kid, uh, homeboys softball team, right? Yeah. They used to have these shirts that homeboys, and that's all it said. Just homeboys had like a baseball, and we would wear like our dad's jerseys to school, and everybody was used to be like, "Oh, that's cool, homeboys," because just the design and all that. Right, it just looked cool. Yeah. So to do kids and stuff in your neighborhood and stuff, like come and buy clothes off you and stuff. No, not Kinda, really. No? Um, but like your your boys and stuff, like they come. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Um, but I ain't really been doing like the kiss thing lately. Okay. But you were doing like yeah, more like definitely. colorful outfits and yeah. stuff like that. Oh yeah, we did all that. But really, I'm trying to. I've been narrowing it down honestly because I haven't been doing it myself. It kind of got overwhelming. Oh yeah. So yeah. these I actually got made. Um, I got a new supplier in mm. Indiana. Mm-hmm. And he kind of does them for me. It's kind of way more convenient. Yeah, Less of course. Stressful, you know what I yeah. mean? Dude, you was in the basement, like, doing iron and all this clothes. <laughs> I remember I went over there one day and chopped it up with you. Remember that day? Hell I brought yeah. your ashtray. Yep. I, I brought still you got that, my the, ashtray. Yeah, the Roche Motel. Yep. And then, bro, I was, like, watching you. You was, like, sealing the bags, ironing the shirts. Whole thing. Sweatshirt. tie dyeing them. Dirty sweatshirt. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> bro, real. that's that's dope, bro. So, but but but, but you got to come up. You got to keep definitely. coming up and trying to figure out a way to make it more efficient. Right. Like me, me too. I'm trying to. Most I'm definitely. always trying to figure out a way to for my business to run because what what my goal is to have my cleaning business run itself one day right. and me 
run up, do a podcast, interview people, get sponsors. Yeah, yeah that shit know? is awesome, man. How you get? How you stumble across this? Well, remember when I was over there, right? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, like one day, the, the 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 guy left the door locked, so I talked to the landlord, and, I, and the landlord let me use this, or they let me use this one time for free. Oh, and shit. then I was like, it, it sparked that thing in my in my head. You know what I mean? Wow. And then I was like, man, look. Next time something happens and boom, if something happens, so I just rented it. I said, fuck it, let's Man, go. That's great, bro. That's that's God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at God for real. Sometimes that's... you think it's like sometimes you think that's just, like something happened, it's like hurt like hurt like a struggle, but really it's God pushing you forward to to make that new that exactly, next decision. That next transition. Yeah, you're like, Man, what the fuck, man? But really it's like I thought that too, like when I went, even when I went to jail, when I went to jail, I was like, man, man, I'm ruined. this is it. My life is over. <laughs> but for real, I got out and now I got all this. Before I used to be the working, I used to be like, you know what I mean? Working at the factory, I didn't have anything. And I now I figured like, that was for a reason. Exactly. There's a reason. He wasn't ready to um, bloom yet, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? God, I, I think that's it. why um, snitches and shit be getting fucked up because look, this is what happens. Okay, God's trying to show that snitch, like, you know what I mean? Like, a guy, God's trying to show that, that, that person, you know, a rat or whatever, mm -hmm. um, trying to show them the right way, like, go to prison, you need to calm down. Right, and, and, and you we're, need this shit anyways. Yeah, but then he goes and snitches. He's trying to bypass He tried to bypass his, 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 uh, his, his blessing. His, bl his blessing. So then all these people go to jail, yeah. and then he's the one that gets, like, sometimes they get, they go, you know what I'm saying? They fuck, they, they, they. Or they just die. They die. They get, <laughs> go into drugs. They, they go into prison. They, yeah. they, they live a miserable life. Right. All these people, like, hate, like. You're definitely right. I, I can't God's trying that. to give you a blessing. Even if you're going to jail, Period. God is telling you, listen, bro. That situation is fucked up. I'm trying to drag you out of it exactly. and push you over here so you can clean up your life. And a lot of people are like, nah, hell no, nah. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm going to do some dumb shit, exactly. you know what I mean? And then fuck everything up. Fuck everything up, just make it worse and we're just digging a hole. You know That's one mean? thing I learned. I, one day I was just like, I was like analyzing that. I'm like, every, everything bad or good or anything that happens to us, happens to us. To teach us a lesson so we can yeah. learn from that. See, I learned that a lot, you know what I mean? Because my whole life, I got like a prayer that I say. And mm. part of my prayer is teach me, um, or what do I say? Well, I just ask for patience. I pray mm. for patience, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Keep me away from negative things, keep me positive, and keep me patient. But yeah, yeah. what do you, what is it gonna, if somebody, how can I explain it? In order for somebody to give you patience, what do you gotta? Um, how can they give that to you? To to give you to give you patience. So, well, like, in like in order in in order in order to have like patience, you know what I mean? It comes with like a lot because when we're growing up, our whole life, people are like wanting so much from us and wanting so much from us. But you need like inner peace. Like you need to have a peace inside of yourself. Most definitely, but I mean, like, I ain't, I don't mean that deep. I mean, like, all right, I pray for patience. Okay, yeah. In order for God to give me patience, how do I know? How do I know if it's working? He's gonna yeah. put me through some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see if of I'm course. being patient. Okay, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That's yeah. what I was trying to say. That's the only way that you can really see if it's if it's working. Exactly. Because you know God I mean? gotta if put I you. If I pray for patience, he's gonna make me all right, I'm gonna make you patient. I'm gonna give mm. you a whole bunch of bullshit to deal with. You know what I mean? And we're gonna this see what how you, you handle ask it. for. We're gonna see how you handle it. Exactly. And then and that's your decision how you're gonna handle it. So you know what I mean? It kinda is like I don't know, it kind of sucks asking for it, but yeah, yeah. you need it, you know what I that's mean? That's like, I feel like that's how me, like, okay, I want to go on this, you know, podcast journey, this workout journey, but man, I, it comes with a lot of ass. struggle, and I got to have a lot of patience. Sometimes I'm up here, dude, waiting on the guests, and they cancel on me, you know what I mean? And I'm up here waiting, and I got all this shit, and I used to even Set bring the up. editor with me, and then... 
And then they would just like not show up or right. like, you put all this effort in for a motherfucker and, you, to and you gotta have faith that at that moment you gotta have some patience. Because <laughs> God <laughs> throws you curveballs or you know, whatever right. you believe in. Whatever you believe in, it throws you things and you gotta like just go with it. I've had times where I thought I was gonna do a podcast with somebody and I had to do it by myself. Cause I didn't I have no you, other. I commented. I seen you do yeah. that one time. I said, "Man, call me. I will pull straight up yeah. bullshit with you." You know what I'm saying? And I know you would. And no, I know I you would. Cause and, and you're not even that far from me. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. I'm gonna make my way. What Toledo? You can get anywhere in Toledo in 20 minutes. I know that. And, and, and I I I seen that the other day. Somebody else was saying that on their live. I was watching Mike, Mike Achuz, or Mike, and he was like saying that, like, uh, man, anywhere I pull up, he was like, I'll pull up anywhere in Toledo in 20 minutes, and it's true. I was thinking that too, Hell like, because yeah. even when I clean houses, I can get from the mall to Perrysburg in 20 minutes. I can get from my mom's to my anywhere. house in 20 minutes. Anywhere, anywhere. it's everywhere. too goddamn small here. Yeah, I just seen some shit, or was it? Um, I forgot where it was. It was Texas something. But it was two different parts of Texas. I didn't realize how far apart they were. It was like two hours. I was like, God damn, it ain't no fucking place in Toledo <laughs> you got to get that takes two hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like a big city like Dallas. Exactly. It takes like two hours to get from the west side to the east right. side. Right. You know what I mean? And we get to the fucking <laughs> other side of the town in five minutes. Yeah. There. And then, like, there's, I think, San Antonio, or one of them has, like, two downtowns. Oh, shit. Yeah, one I'm of those. i San Antonio. I'm yeah. in the Alamo, all that shit. I don't know if it's San Antonio. It might be Dallas or one of them. One of them has two down, like, two sets of the buildings and all that shit. Where you been? You ain't been on no vacations lately? I went to, uh, this summer, I went to Myrtle Beach. Did you? Yeah, How I went was to. was it? It was do? good, man. It was nice. I went there for seven days. Oh. This is what I did. I, I, I uh. I did like um, one of those package deals oh, okay. where they give you like, like I did like a payment resort. plan. Yeah, That's awesome. it was like a payment plan. It was like seventeen hundred dollars. We just paid a little by little. That's cool. And then we went down there and we got this big ass hotel. I did a podcast there with my wife. Did you? We filmed some of it. We put it on YouTube. Damn, that's awesome, man! Tag yeah. me in that. I want to check yeah. it out. All right, I will. I have to. Put, I, I'll tag you in it. I did. Uh, I did that, and then I. Um, and then just like little trips on our anniversary and stuff, we went to like Michigan just to have like some fun. And now because we do a lot of social media. Yeah. So anytime we do like hey, a little. I'll be checking you guys out. You know, I'm a yeah, fan. Yeah. Anytime we do something fun, even though we don't have a lot of money or nothing, it's not like we're trying to show off that, oh, we're going to. No, like we did that payment That's plan. That's not what it's about. It's not about that. It's about, it's about showing people that. A good relationship with a woman is still possible. Exactly. You know what I mean? I think it's We about, ain't got to be players and hustlers and all that shit oh, no yeah, more. Oh, yeah, that shit's played out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what do you... Because I, I see you and your girl. Tell me a little bit about that. What do you like to show in your social media along, uh, according to your relationship? Honestly, I don't really... I don't, I'm not like a big... Put my... I know, but I have seen. I don't like not, post pictures or like. I don't really even say nothing. I be kind of feeling bad because I see even like everybody post like my kids' birthdays. Everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. posts pictures of my kids like old memories and happy birthday, and I don't do that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I just shit. I do like shit in real life. You know what I yeah. mean? I ain't no social media parent. I'm a real parent. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. But. But I have seen your kids in the summer. You got you oh, had yeah, like, most definitely. or sometimes you, know, you do, do a joke on your wife yeah. and you <laughs> and you film her like. So that's kind of fun stuff yeah, that we, I see. Oh, we have a great time. We're, we always recording stuff for real. We just went to um, we was in Tennessee for Christmas. Oh, it was for beautiful. Him. It was fun. Yeah, where you guys rented a we something? stayed in the uh, in a cabin in the mountains. Oh, it that's was badass. Dumb. Damn. Yeah, I didn't see you don't you don't post that much shit anymore. I just I started getting like blocked and restricted and shit. Oh, so yeah. it was like, man, fuck this. Bro, shit. when I first met you, my my news feed was all oh, dirty Mac, dirty <laughs> yeah. Mac, dirty Mac, dirty Somebody Mac. Somebody didn't like that shit, so yeah, bro. <laughs> they cut that shit off. That shit like you used to always like promote your clothes. I've been and I've been trying to get back on it lately. Yeah. But, but like, then like once you start getting more things happening. You kind of like lose that part of you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, most definitely. Because you're evolving into someone new. Right, once you get it, once you start being consistent, it's like, 
I started the reason, whole reason my shit was like that is because I'm putting that shit in everybody's face. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I want to make everybody want this shit. Now it's like everybody got it. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like I don't really got to push it on them no more. As it's much. Like, yeah. Everybody is now. It's just like, hey man, everywhere I go, I see your stuff, man. I just, yeah. Hey man, I just seen a video of somebody on stage with a side of baby with your shirt on. Yeah. And that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, that's cool. dope. That's that's nice, man. Yeah, like, that's a lot. A lot of people. I've seen a lot of people with your stuff on, and then random people, right? People that I had on my podcast. But I didn't know that they knew you. And then I, then all of a sudden, one day, I just see them rocking your shirt. And I'm <laughs> like, what? Cool. I used to work with that guy in Norplast. <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden, they're friends with you and they're rocking your shirt. <laughs> and I'm cool. like, I don't know how they, I don't know how they got together. You know what I'm saying? How they, but right. obviously through the whole Facebook oh, and shit, definitely. it all worked out perfect. And there's your brand is growing and it, it, it it's 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 an awesome brand here in Toledo because Thank it's so it's much, straight man. from it's straight from the bottom, you know what I mean? I wish I had I should have brought like some um some damn something cuz I got so many different new shirts. Yeah. Well, shirt you got this one. Last time you brought some and we like hung it up yeah. like in the other podcast, but we do got the little the logo, the sign. Yeah. We got them on. We got yeah. that on shirts too. We got the merch yeah. for the store. Established 2022. Yeah. It's a new brand. It's not. It's what two years old now. Yeah, yeah it is 2024, huh? Yeah, Damn, I forgot. Shit. Yeah, it's not one year old no more. You got to You know what I'm saying? That's pretty soon. That shit's gonna roll, and then you just gotta keep keep coming up with new ideas and keep evolving yeah. it. So, like, right now, if someone wants something from you, what do you do? Send them to the store. Um, you could go to the store. Um, I be getting so off track. I forgot I was gonna say that I uh, I got my shit at the store, mm-hmm. and that's like the stuff that I make in house. Okay. And then now these, these are oh, of course made by my new supplier. Mm. And um, you gotta get these from me personally oh, off okay. of social media, okay. or I do got them. I think I got one on the mannequin. Soon, when I get a big enough order, I'll take them to the store. You mm. know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. As of right now, you got to get these from me personally. Mm-hmm. But what I was going to do was um, I got a, well, a while back. Well, re- really, when I first started, I went and spoke with um, a friend of mine at Premium Stitches. Now he owns High Level Fashions as well mm-hmm. on the inside of the mall because his is, um, establishment is on the outside of the mm-hmm. mall. So now he's on the inside and the outside. And um I talked to him a while back and he gave me the green light. I just never went in there. So really, I yeah. think I'm gonna put these because they're better quality. Yeah. This ain't like no press on shit or nothing. Okay. And you know, my, before my logos were like small because I was buying them and putting them on myself. You was pressing so them you gotta yourself. have, yeah, you know what I mean? You gotta have a big enough press. This mm-hmm. wouldn't even fit my press. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I'll probably take these, the higher quality ones, up to the mall. So you can probably be able to get these at the mall pretty yeah. soon. And yeah. Then, yeah, you I, should do that. Yeah, then I keep them without at the store, you know what I mean? I just seen that thing. Shout out to um, Midwest Kids. Did you see that? Yeah, with the uh, that mud thing. The Walmart? No, oh, they no. got their clothes in Walmart. Oh, yeah, but what's it called? Midway, Midwest, Midwest Kids? Midwest Kids. Oh, okay. I don't even know I thought what it was it mud, mud Talks or, or no, not Mud... Uh, you talking about the May May stuff? I've been no. seeing that going on. on there's like Facebook a there's like a a, a controversy about happened. somebody stole yeah. something or something yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So tell me what what so what happened? They got the Them Walmart. guys got a uh, some type of contract. They got the clothes in Walmart for one, but I seen them actually. Um, they um, went and spoke with somebody. They was at like a a cotton field like a real cotton field oh. so they probably linked up with somebody and, and got like a clothes you know what i mean yeah like a matter like someone really actually making the exactly. clothes and everything for them and they i was i seen the little story and they said like uh they could like um just it was deep you know what i mean because mm. obviously it's a black owned yeah yes it's deeper than they just went a to the cotton hand. fields yeah. you know what i mean and they said that um there was like dirt and dust and stuff all over the cotton. and like it's uh, like they just said it was like some deep stuff. Yeah, and yeah. That's cool. Like that's like really, some ancestry like some back in the day yeah. type to it. You know but what I'm saying? But that's awesome though and that's I would actually like to do business with them too. You mm. know what I mean? To keep them in business. That's I would do that. I would rather do that over a corporate 
any day. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like a little hole in the wall. That's awesome to yeah. keep that in business. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the kind of people I like to deal of with. Of course. Because then the, it, that's that's showing love. Just like you. You're clothing. You know what I mean? You're cleaning business. Yeah. I wouldn't. If I need something clean or I need to clean out or I need my um, yeah. store cleaned or something, I'm going to call you. I'm yeah. not about to go look through no phone book or yeah, nothing. No. You know what I mean? I'm calling Yogi and shit. My brother got his own yeah, cleaning sure. company. That's the kind of stuff that I want to... I, that's, if, I, if I need something, I, I try to look for someone, you know, close. But then sometimes, you know, if you can't find somebody, you have to go with somebody else. But if you know somebody, shit, might as well use them. Hell yeah, why Hell not? Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. I want to ask you a little bit about, like, um, about your music. Are you gonna Are you gonna ever like do shows and stuff like that? Cause I got I got some I got some people now. Like I've been I've been uh, you know linking up with a bunch yeah. of different artists and a bunch of different like. Um, even like uh, you know, I mean, you do the same thing. You promote people and you do promote stuff them. like that. But promoters and stuff hit me up. So like, man, like we could like I, I don't know if I can get you anything, but you can. I'm sure you can, uh, you need yeah. to get up there on stage and do for some real. shit. You know what's crazy? When I started rapping, I was probably rapping for a week. I ain't even know the damn words of my song. I did. It, I performed at this little bar. Oh, you did? It was cool, yeah. yeah. I liked it. And a lot of people came. It was pretty cool. But um, yeah. Also, you have performed live. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Yeah. I, didn't, I mean, yeah, it was serious, but I didn't. I'm, I probably wasn't even like as good of a rapper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my music probably wasn't even something that people would be like, I feel like it was people more there off of support the yeah. really like man this is good music <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah but the thing is you got you got you got a good following yeah you got a good support system uh, right yeah. so by doing that you can actually link up a bunch of people together at a venue you can you know uh you know you you be like the headliner but then you have other artists you help uh, them promote they yeah. they also link up that's a great idea. It's like a it's 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 not just about you and about your performance, it's about the whole atmosphere. That shit's almost saying. gone away because because right. of COVID. Like it, so, right now there's people building that. They're trying to build yeah, right. that shit in Toledo. That's a great idea. So something like that where you bring it out and then you know maybe we can because you can do a post like hey you know I want to get some artists and then you find out the artists that you want and your kind of show with their kind of music and you say hey I'm gonna give you 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 a shot. We can do something like that. We can do that. something like that. Tell one of like some of the videographers around here, like, hey, um, I, I can't pay you, but if you guys, you know, help me out, we can make a show or, and, and things sure. like that. And then collab and have like a like a sweet ass. They're doing it on the east side at Code. I went to a couple of them like that. You know, well, um, oh, okay. they're doing like contests yeah. and um, shit like that. My little cousin was there. Uh, he performed there. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Maggie. Oh, okay. Cash out Miggy. Oh yeah, Cash Out Miggy, yeah. yeah. Check him out. He's dope. He's a um um what do you call it? What would be the word? He's um He's like a Mexican rapper, like yeah, he's, um <laughs> like a Marachi, like he, he, can he rap does, like yeah. fluent uh, Spanish, man. My yeah. little cousin, he's a dog with that shit. He's sweet. I I heard a song the other day with him and uh the dudes that that were on Toledo's top talent. For real. They did a collab, man, and then one dude's doing like Mari like like a like a Mexican song in the background, and he's doing like uh, like a freaking mari- I don't know exactly like a mariachi like Mexican rap. It's slick though. Yeah, it sounded Hell dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard it. On, I seen it on YouTube. I'll be telling him all the time. I talk to him every oh shit, probably at least once a week or something. I tap in with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make sure he's doing what the hell he's supposed to be doing. Doing yeah. his thing. So you you so yeah, I mean that that would be a cool thing because like you got the you got the people that follow you, bro. Oh, you know what? My bad. I ain't mean to cut you off. No, but, no, um, no, Jack. No. That's where I'm about to go. What? I'm gonna hit him up first. Who is it? Jack. Uh, what's the Oh, yeah. That guy of the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been in there. That yeah, shit yeah. is good, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, Jack. Jack, a guy of the auto, he does that. He's doing that kind yeah. of stuff, too. Yeah. He's, Somebody tagged me or something, and he told me to come up there. I got to. I ain't really been out. I've been so damn busy. But yeah, because you got so many that's other where I'm things. I'm going to go first, on. though, for real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Do a little local performance. Come yeah. holler at me. I ain't. 
trying to do nothing crazy. Yeah, know? that'd be cool, like something like that. Look, because it's like a little restaurant, but then at like I think 9 p.m. he switches it and he makes it like a little. He'll have like a show and stuff. I like heard it's oh, sweet in there. Yeah, you it's ain't cool. Been in there yet? You ain't been in there? Yeah, yeah, I've been in there a few times. It's cool. It's a it's a good little atmosphere. The food they got good. They got they present it real nice with all the cool stuff. I've been saying that it looks beautiful. Yeah. Keep doing your thing for real, yeah, Jack. For that sure. shit looks amazing. But yeah. you know what's crazy? That's next time I um, got a taste for some Mexican food, I'm gonna go in there because I'm gonna be completely honest. When I go out to eat, I don't be looking for no Mexican food. No, like, nah, my yeah. girl, she's a damn taco head. She'll eat tacos from. Anyway. Wherever the hell, but I like it. fucking steaks and shit. You know what I mean? I want a fat ass steak. Yeah. Me <laughs> I too. Wanna... I've been I've been trying to eat like more like meat. Because I'm not trying to be like eating like carbs and like breads and shit, man. Cause I that shit fattened you up, man. Right? That shit it? got me like it gets me freaking inf inflammation and shit. Oh shit. I've been working out steadily, dude. Like ever since you met me. I ain't never stop. Every yeah, day, yeah, every I day. See, you know, I watch that shit every day, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm bullshit. I know it's been eight months, so I ain't even gonna act like no. I know, but you got one of these days. You're gonna, you're gonna jump into it because yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. We get as we get older. As we get older, we start seeing things and feeling shit. And you're right. like, oh shit. Yeah, but you're Most good. Definitely, man. I feel like that now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I just tell I just tell my girl like I'm about to start waking up at four o'clock in the morning running and shit like no the hell you ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, but you you once you, it gets warm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm that type of person. I might fuck off for a whole year and not do shit and sit on the couch, but I really make my decision like you know what I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna yeah. do that shit tomorrow like. I ain't even gonna say tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna start yeah. tonight. I'm gonna prep because I know yeah. what I'm gonna do on tomorrow. I'm, tomorrow I'm gonna execute this shit. Yeah, you know that's I mean? why. That's what happened to me. One day I just, one day I just said to myself, I'm gonna start working out every day, and I haven't stopped. Today I missed working out. I was like, I was so mad. I was like, fuck, I did still did like 150 pushes. I like, like fuck, fuck it, it. I ain't making to the gym, but I'm still know. about to get it in. You feel yeah, me? I got to, bro. Because I gotta, I gotta and, do. Then, and I gotta, and I, and I post my shit because I'm not trying to like, I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show people like something is possible. Facts. Like if you go hard at one thing, it's it's so much that could happen. Look at you. Right. You went hard at them shirts. And now you don't even got time to be meeting people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now right. you're like, hold up, I got so I, I I went so hard at them shirts, you know what I'm saying? But right. now I got shirts at a store, I got the sauce, I'm doing music, yeah. I'm meeting other people doing like exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like Shit keeps moving, and now, you know what? Another thing, dude, What's you that? have the you have a great opportunity to open up your own shit, like with the weed, the legal weed yeah. coming. You're right, Dirty Mac, bro. Hell the the yeah. brand, the Dirty Mac weed. Hey, the, you know what's the, crazy? The, Look, the, the, DME, right? I said that shit forever ago. Hey, we need bags, Dirty Mac exotics, bro. <laughs> now, like you're you're already creating a brand that's. Yeah. That's like hot yeah. right now, like. But that one day can be like something else. It can be, and then eventually you create this whole. You know, your Facebook page has all these thousands of followers, and you say, "Hey guys, I'm selling this weed at this at this weed store, and it's a Dirty Mac fucking weed, or the you know what I mean, or whatever." You know, you know, what I mean? you know what's crazy? Um, you know, um, Flacco. Yeah. Yeah, the Flacco um, Machado and like they're twins. No, oh, no, 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 I'm no. talking about the. Um, no, I don't, I don't. Those guys are from. He the raps. Side. Oh no, I don't. Know. He's a rapper. He signed to Lil White. He lives mm. in Memphis. Oh, okay, big, um, like more, more bigger. Thing. Yeah, he lives in Memphis. They got um two different locations. They got a uh, dispensaries. They're called um gas supply something. Mm. But they actually tell me that I need to get down there and put my fucking clothes in there too. Yeah. So I gotta go down there and make that shit happen. And I was actually supposed to um meet up with Flock when we were in Tennessee, but it kinda we yeah. kinda got hectic and we had all the kids and shit. So. And then and then and then that's it's gonna be dope, but that's gonna come here. It's gonna take a few years. But there's gonna be so all these years you keep building what you're doing. When them dispensaries come, yeah. you can have a brand. Lincoln Gas Supply, that's what it is. 
Get liquid gas supply. Oh, Lincoln. Yep, Lincoln uh-huh. Gas Supply. They got two different locations. One's in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I don't really know where that is. Uh, when I when I spoke with them, they had um, the, it was a new location. They just bought it and they was like doing a little yeah. branch off. So you go to Monroe sometimes? Hell yeah. Hey Monroe, you see how that whole fucking thing is all nothing but storage? Hell yeah. That shit one day is gonna be here, bro. It's gonna take years though, cause it, it takes years to 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 I'm go. Like, I don't know. I, don't, I ain't even gonna give them years, honestly. How was it been? Probably like a year, and they got all that shit right there. No, nah, no, nah, cause it it passed in 2018. Oh, okay. Because the marijuana became, your recre- recreational marijuana became legal in I Michigan. Mean, so it took like five, it took like five years for them to have that many. I mean, there were stores right away. I just mean like within the last year. That yeah, that shit strip. blowing up, oh, bro. I've been, we've been going to that new one, uh, Unique. You, right oh, you Unique. Get oh, yeah, Lemon. yeah. How's that one? Good? I mean, it's cool. Yeah. There's a new one right next door, the, the gas station called Backpack Boys. Yeah, yeah. It's not I open yet. I used to yet. smoke Backpack Boys. They had good weed back oh, yeah? in the day, for sure. Damn, I never even, I, I never heard of that Backpack Boys. That was like, uh, they had like exotic weed. Like So when all these dispensary opens, you could have like, you know what I mean? Uh, some merch for them too. Right. Be like, hey, you know, because at first you got to like, they're going to be building their stores. You can say, hey, you, I, can, I can get, you know what I mean, some, some people over here. I can sell some shirts. There's a lot of things. Right. You can have your own weed brand, your own strain. Mm-hmm. You can come up with somebody to come up with your own strain. A friend of mine had his own strain. I, wanna, I always wanted to get into that, too. But There's different. There's, there's um, so many honestly, opportunities. I don't, if I made my own strain, like, ain't nothing, nothing against it. But, you know, people like... Uh, they like find a grower and then like just this is my strain. I'm gonna buy this strain. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, you yeah. can't sell nobody this strain as mine. Yeah. Me personally, I take it to the like the extreme to where I'm gonna if I got a strain, like I'm gonna grow this motherfucker myself. Like this is mine. You know what I mean? Yeah, ain't yeah. nobody grow this. Eventually, shit. this shit came from us. Eventually, that's gonna happen though. Eventually, okay. eventually, if you build like a big enough following and you create all these businesses and you create, you know, your clothing brand and whatever, like, it's just like pointing, it's just like, okay, this podcast, right? Uh-huh. Eventually, is I'm gonna keep growing. Every week I get a few more followers, a few more followers. Okay. Eventually, I, I can just be like, let's say you're a brand new clothing brand, low life clothing, I can be like, hey guys, make sure you check out low, low life clothing, you know, on Door Street. Yeah. And then if I have enough followings, if I have enough followers, be yeah, like, all right, the next push. day, like three, four hundred people go and buy a shirt off you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm building this little by little every week. That's how and one it's, podcast at a time. It's, that's so cool. But, you know, the world and it used to be like that. But mm. that's and now that's how it is. Like I was just telling him the uh, the same thing because you know that old saying people say oh don't no, nothing happen overnight you mm. know what i'm saying but in our reality now in 2024 shit it happens can. overnight all the fucking time yeah it you can. know what i'm saying one video dude look at that fucking starbucks shit starbucks just said some shit about uh oh they did the shit with stanley oh yeah they yeah. said they was donating to israel and probably sold fucking 10 billion overnight mm. you know what i mean that's <laughs> Nice. That shit is crazy. Yeah, like right now you can be a you can be a regular guy, just make one TikTok video. If it's the right video, boom, all of a sudden you're famous exactly. as hell. Exactly. Overnight success. What do they say? You can make the uh you can make the wrong move a million times, you only gotta make the right one once. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope, yeah. For real. Yeah, yeah, and then the, the Gary V, he always says just try to make the best content. Every video, try to make that the best video possible. So, you know what I mean? People can get the most information so they can, um, you know what I mean? So it can push, so it can push it out to more people in any video. Cause like, especially like a TikTok, every video has its own algorithm. It's not that just they're following you. No, right. that video is going to go to like the for you pages to a whole bunch of people. So it depends on what, Always try to make the best content because you know any video can take off. Hell yeah! Yeah, you gotta. You do. You do. You do way less. You do way less uh, internet than you had than you did in the beginning. Yeah, I ain't, I haven't really had no time. I, you know what? 
I kind of became like a like a like a modern day hippie or something. Mm-hmm. I was sitting in the house. I got like a I got plants everywhere. Oh, okay. And, um, fish tanks. And you're just chilling. Yeah, yeah. I just like nature. And, you found um, peace. You're yeah. finding like a lot of peace in For your sure. life. Sure. And in our first um, podcast, that's what I said anyway. Man, I just want to be happy. I just yeah. be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I like to be off of the face of the earth. If I could, I'd go live around there and fucking ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like you, you use social media to promote your business. Exactly. And that's what you wanted to do because you had a plan. It wasn't like you weren't trying to be like, oh, this is all for my family. for social. You were trying to promote your brand Period. And, sh- and, and, and do something exactly. for yourself. I know. Most I see definitely. That. And then and then you you created something beautiful. Thank so you want to so make much. sure you you know you you, but the thing is you want to make sure that people still keep knowing, still keep going. You don't got to make it about you and your family, but we got to still need to know when your new shirts are dropping. Where's yeah. your stuff? So yeah, just keep Honestly, going. Honestly, um, when I free up a little bit, you can catch me at the store. I'm gonna be at the store five days a week. Just mm-hmm. you know what I mean, popping in and out. So yeah, wanna come check me out. Yeah. You know where I'll be at. We're gonna be dropping a music video in there soon too. In the store? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, dope. Yeah. I already talked to him about it. He gave me the green light, so it's on okay. the flow. We're gonna be in there. And then you're uh you, you got a business partner with the store. Yeah. And then you how about your music? You got more people that work with you like the uh, yeah, um coming soon. Um uh Byrie Irving. Mm-hmm. That's my dude. I ain't I'm, I'm I I kind of hit him up like I was fanned out or something, mm-hmm. but I just fuck with him. Though. I okay. respect him. And yeah, music. He he makes great music. He's fire for sure. Okay. He just so that's that's who you're working with right now. Um, I ain't working with him yet, but in the process. Okay. Locally, like that, people are gonna know that I'm gonna mention is mm-hmm. that's like a big name for okay. right now because he be doing his thing in the city and dropping and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He making way more noise than me, so you yeah. Know, is there anything that, uh, any big plans that, that no one really knows about, but it's like in the works that something that, you know what I mean? Dirty Mac is, I don't know, anything you're allowed to say? Um, coming soon, um, if all goes well, probably by um, next year, we're gonna have our own location out there, outdoor, I'm gonna stay out there. You know that little UT vibe, the campus, mm-hmm. okay. there's a lot of traffic out that way, so. Um, like, if everything goes right, like I said, we're gonna um, we're gonna have our own building, our okay. own space out there. Eventually, have your own thing, yeah, and then sell your own merch and stuff like that. That's dope. Yeah, I was thinking about um, it's it's kind of big the space. Mm-hmm. I already talked to the people about it. We've been um, I'm trying to do business with them. Actually, they uh. They're Arabs, mm-hmm. and um, they was telling me about. He said he wanted to. He wants to go in business with me. He wants to do mm-hmm. these shirts with like an Arab prayer or something on it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It'd be like Psalms or something, but for them, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just saying like, man, we got to do this. This is a big. There's a big following behind this. Like th- that can be some overnight stuff too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That we might wake up and have. <laughs> You know what I mean? Big 20,000 order, yeah. orders yeah. off of this shirt with this prayer on it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. And his um, dad is the one who got the building that we've been speaking about. So, oh, okay. You know, so, yeah. Trying to put them pieces together. So that's really what I've been doing. I've been slowly but surely making little my baby steps and making my way around to just showing my face and yeah. seeing what I can make happen. You know what yeah, I mean? You- and I get a lot further than I thought I would by just applying myself. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful journey. Like I follow your journey, so you know, I, I that's why I say I like when you post because I then it, it keeps me involved and that's that's the only way that I can see right. your your process and make sure that everything's going good sure. cuz I want you on every year. But if I see you lacking and I see you going backwards, I'm like, why? Why? I don't want, like, you know what I'm saying? I want you to keep going. Exactly. I want you to keep building because you got a family and you got kids and you got your girl and, and you can't, you can't slack on nothing. Period. You know what I'm saying? You got to become the man. If you want them kids to see like a good example, it has to come from you. Exactly. It got to come from inside the from house. You. From I you. Under that roof. 
Yes, sir. I can't be having my kids looking up to no lame ass mom. Yeah. Somebody acting like they knew or something, faking the funk. You know what I'm saying? People be making it look like what it ain't real good. Mm -hmm. And fooling everybody or like the, you know, these uh, uh, rats running around here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, they're always going to be out here. So. You know, I don't want my damn kid looking up to no fucking mm -hmm. dumbass motherfucker that yeah. ain't got shit going for himself. So. Yeah, you got to show them that work, working hard, no matter what you do, you put in that work. Don't matter, because I clean houses, I clean toilets, but I put in that work. You make shirts, you put in that work. You do that Don't shit, matter. bro. You do that shit for you, though. You ain't yeah, going that's to what I'm punch saying. no motherfucking clock. You ain't got yeah. nobody standing over you or telling you, hey, go scrub the motherfucking no, toilets. Hell, I do no, that I'm shit doing with, this shit. I just do that with the biggest smile on my face, because I know I get exactly. I get 100% of the, you know what I mean? And then I pay my employees. Exactly. So I go in with a happy face, and I'm, and I'm glad to do it, but I'm going hard on that shit, Period. because I know even if I I cut grass i'm going hard on cutting grass because i know once i get that money coming in from cutting grass i can do this i can do this i can actually grow See, a lot of people don't want to decide what they want to do because they're scared that they got to cut grass for the rest of their life right. they don't understand that all they got to do is cut grass until they make enough money to break don't out you. of that you yeah. know what i mean so that's what you show your kids and then i'm really proud of you because you've always like ever since i've ever known you i've seen the drive and determination to to show not only your kids but everyone the young men the young dudes from sure. your neighborhood there's a lot of kids that look up to you dirty mac hell yeah a lot of kids that look up to and you I man i love that shit because you're not the guy with the suit you're not the lawyer from downtown the, the, the you know what i'm saying you the dude from the from the hood you right there and you're still right there man and they see you and they can they can you know what i mean talk right. to you you right there bro I'm you a big you know heart what I'm saying? you can still reach out to me i'm still tapping you know what i'm saying you shit different I'm, i still talk to people and Talk about the shit all the time. I be, yeah, man. I be, um, I'm blessed to even have that ability, or you know what I mean, opportunity that yeah. people even feel the need or are comfortable with. Hey, man, I think I'm going through some shit. I'm, I just wanted to tap in with you. Yeah, that shit makes me feel good. You know what yeah. I mean. At the same time, I might be going through some shit. You might. You might, you know what I mean? Me helping you out might be helping me out. Yeah, like a little therapy session for both of y'all. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes just like, this, just like having a conversation is a therapy session. Man, that's a great therapy session. Yeah. Every time you have a conversation, you got to use it to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. So like that, like I know, I know there's a bunch of kids from your neighborhood that look up to you because they, they, they see the hard work. It don't matter like what you did in your past right. or who you were or where your family came from. No, sure. you, the man you are and the hard work you've been putting in, can't nobody deny you. And that's why people want to work with you. And that's yeah, why yeah. Pe when people meet you, they see what you've done. They're like, yeah, I would like you in my store. I would like you to do that because they see the hard work. They don't, sure. they, it's not like they go on your page and they see it and it looks like it's lacking off and ah. Uh, no, you've been putting in the work for a long time. So that's why, that's why it, I've always like, remember I told you I would love to like have you as a sponsor yeah. because like I already know, like I want people that are hardworking, dedicated people that are going to put the product out, the clothing out, and they're going to have it on the store. Oh, they're going to keep doing it. When someone messages, messages them, they're going to message them back. Right. They're going to, you know, sell them the yeah. shirt. They're not going to give them a run around. No, I'm, you know, you got to be on that consistency is key with anything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Of course. So that's how i just looked at everything any kind of hustle or whether it was illegal or legal mm -hmm. or whatever you know what i mean if yeah. i ain't making no damn money right now or if i make one sale every month you know what i mean but just like you said as long yeah. as i got that shit when they call and i'm pulling right up yeah whether it's a uh like i said legal or Ill, whether whether it's a t-shirt or a t-shirt yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying it yeah. don't really matter i'm <laughs> As long as I'm there, I might not hear from you for three months, but if I'm there and I'm pulling up consistently every time you call, that's a 
that's another satisfied customer yeah. is what I say. That, you know shows, I mean? that shows dedication. Exactly. And then that shows responsibility. And th that, that goes a long way. When, when weed becomes 100% legal here, there's going to be delivery services. There's going to be people that just bring weed to people's houses. How you so, feel about that? Would you get into something like that? Yeah, that would be cool because like... Like you can have like as long as you're a reliable boss, you have you can hire some reliable people to right. go deliver. So all you, all the guys are doing, they're gonna go to dispensaries with an order. Yeah. They're gonna pick up this person's order. It's kind of like an Uber. I know what and, you're it, and then you can have Dirty Max weed service delivery, and you can have a whole bunch of dudes in the hood that they don't have nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? You say, hey, you guys, you guys are going to be delivering weed to Perrysburg and Sylvania. You know, you know what's crazy? Um, <laughs> we got a party bus. Oh, for real? Yeah, we got the party bus. and um, I didn't know about that. Yeah, and uh, we were, uh, that's really like something that we were speaking on doing is. Um, so you, but you guys rent it out or do you guys, guys? Yeah, we rent it out. Oh, for definitely. real? Yeah, he got his cars. He can give me some okay. cars. What's the, what's the name? What's the name? Like, where can people look it up? Just go ahead. What is it again? Bro, the box, the box truck. Oh, yeah. No, the, um, the bus. The party bus. The party bus. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not ready. It's not ready? Yeah. Oh, what's okay. on the car? It's ready. It's not. It's not ready to uh, to to talk about. Uh, you guys rent it out and stuff. Yeah, we rent it. Out. Oh, for real? More like on a personal basis. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but we got the cars though. But like I said, reason he's like being like so um, uh, inconspicuous about <laughs> it is because we're in the midst of a. Uh, Kind of like changing what we're about to do with it. Okay, because really, you guys about you guys, to do that right there. What you yeah. said was uh, one of our plans was to, well, before the Ohio shit, we was gonna start taking people up there. Mm. You know what I mean? You get everybody just like how, uh, like how you would. How yeah, would yeah, you know? I know what you mean. Like you got a bunch like of people together. Like where people together. go to the casino. Like where yeah, where this, exactly. This place Boom, picks up how a the bunch bus of goes to the casino. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, you get a bunch of people, take them up there. Not only that, you get something going on with the dispensary. Bro, you guys should do that uh, still. You get something going on with the dispensary. You say 20, 30 motherfuckers yeah. in the dispensary, be like, hey, bro, you kind of owe yeah. me something. Like, <laughs> you got to bless me with something. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's. Brought you a lot of business. That's because like, you guys could still do that. Because, like, like I said, it's going to be like five years before we that. get it where we. So, like. Yeah, that's a good plan, bro. <laughs> we got that. Really, that's in that's in the process. We're so we're, you guys are still like you know yeah. coming up with the master plan. But, um, something where um, that's why you kind of kind of hesitated. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's like, uh, hold on. Yeah, I, I was trying to bring it to the light. Yeah, know? but it's cool because but but you guys can you guys could rent that out to yeah. uh, people if you. Oh yeah, we like, or, like you said, your boys and stuff. Rented, we personally rent it out. It's actually probably a couple of local artists who shot videos on the bus. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, he um he does little private events all the time, and you know what I mean. We do other stuff as well, and um, really we're about to we're about to have the uh, the mobile store going on. Mm. I was gonna call it the bus stop. Yeah. How that sound? That's dope. <laughs> the mobile yeah. store just pulls up yeah. to your house and you can pick out whatever you yeah. want. The bus stop. Does anybody got that? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we're about to we about to put that shit in motion, man. We, yeah, I knew that's why I asked you. I said, I said, is there anything that Dirty Mac that you might and then cause I know like your mind it's like you're always I coming up with new things. Shit going on. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, I live off that motto. That's why I don't stop. I could do a million things. I could do a million wrong things, but it only takes you only got to make the right move once. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just yeah. got to keep pushing it out, boy. You're gonna catch us in the food. You're gonna catch us in the transportation, logistics. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, whatever is gonna. The opportunities are there, exactly. especially if you build enough, enough, and enough good following on social media. All we're trying yeah. to do is climb the ladder, and one day, you know what I mean, be in front of the right eye. Somebody gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody gonna be a blessing. I feel that. I feel that same way. I'm. I'm trying to do the same thing. Yeah, We're on man. the same mission. And it's coming, brother. I see it. I watch you every day, man. I <laughs> love the, I love the drive. Yeah. I love being a part of the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And I love you being a part of it too, man, because you show me like just how you see me. I see you, bro, because I see the drive. I see a lot of lazy motherfuckers. I see a lot of people oh, not doing shit or I see a lot of people slacking. So I, I, when I see people that are doing something good and positive and trying to come up for their family and shit, I think that's I think the world of people like that. For sure, you gotta like, cherish that. Yeah, shit. it shows me, man. It shows me that it's hard work. Cause like I told you in the beginning, I didn't know who's gonna be on my podcast this week, but I was like, I'm giving a I'm giving a shot to whoever I see some good social media. I started searching through my stories. Oh, I seen yours. Da, da, I start hitting through. I seen the store. I'm like, okay, that's what I'm going to have. Hell on yeah. Media. Seen them. If, if you watch the stories, you seen how I started the day. Probably started out with mm -hmm. some fish tanks and some fish. Then I went from, I went and picked all them clothing racks up, took me a little trip. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. I went to the store, set them up, filled the racks up. So it was like a whole day thing. I did. Yeah, I seen days. all that shit. I, 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 didn't, I, see, I just happened to see that day. I was like, I'm about to find my next guest on my social media because I think that if you really want to grow whatever you want to grow, you have to promote, promote, Most promote. Don't just start a store and think that everyone's going to come knocking right. without you actually promoting it. Exactly. Don't think that you're going to be this awesome rapper if you're not putting the videos exactly. out there. That's what I said probably about 20 minutes ago, you gotta apply yourself. That's half the battle, you know yeah. what I mean? Just being there, all you really gotta do is be there. And then Attention, look where everybody's eyes are. Everybody's eyes are in their phone. Yeah. Where do you wanna put your business that's in the phone? Right. You gotta make sure they see you to promote. You gotta mm -hmm. promote yourself. It's free attention, why wouldn't you wanna do right. that? We live Facebook that is era. free, like TikTok is free. Like, what are you going to do? Get a billboard and pay 5000 a month? <laughs> yeah, right. are you, why, why are people so stupid? Right. Hope like, somebody drives that way. Hope the yeah. right motherfucker drives that way. Like, just it. put that shit on Facebook all day long. Exactly. Who cares if they get tired of you? Oh, well. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? They can just delete you. Right, you don't want them kind me. of people on your shit anyways. Exactly. You want people that are like, show love. And Facebook is different. Facebook ain't going to... You can put things all day long. They're not gonna flood everybody's shit with just dirty Mac, dirty Mac. Nah, they're gonna, you'll see sometimes it'll be dirty Mac, it'll be like, say, two days ago. Yeah. You posted it two days ago, right. and now it's gonna show me. You're right. So it ain't gonna be like, my whole thing ain't gonna be dirty Mac just because you posted 10 times that day. See, my, that's why you said, like, when I first started, my shit was like that. Yeah, it, it was. was. like that because I made like 10 pages. Yeah. I got a they're changing. barbecue sauce page, I got a music page, a clothes page. Uh, like I said, I probably have <laughs> ten pages all together. Your rap, you guys. So every time I post something, boom, I'm gonna post the same video. Oh yeah, yeah. Post on all ten pages, boom. Do our podcast, I'm posting all ten pages. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All my groups, everything. Yeah, yeah. Because it's all different. It's all individual platforms. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, People yeah. that see this ain't gonna see this. Of course. Just like you said, you might see this. In two days, you know what I mean? Somebody's yeah. going to see it right now. Somebody might see it next week. Yeah, man. You got to do it like that, man. I, I, you do it the right way. And I and then I took notes from you. So when I, when I want to grow my podcast, mm -hmm. I seen what you were doing. And I was like, I need to be more active. I need to write more. I need to. Th so now I do my social media more like what you were doing. That's you know, and I just keep going yeah, every man. week. Podcast every week. This yeah, like every what week. It did, that. You know what I mean? Just yeah. the same as the results as you going to the gym. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Every week. Whatever you apply yourself at, that's what's gonna grow. That's what I gonna told grow. people. I told people from the beginning, I'm gonna do a podcast every week, and it's hard as fuck to yeah, do this yeah. every week. Make sure like like my business. On top of your that. business. I gotta find of... somebody and make sure it's you know you know. So it's not easy to do this shit. You gotta find reliable people on. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> before you say anything, yeah, no. I gotta find a motherfucker that's gonna be here. And yeah, yeah. That's why I'm so glad that you you you're a solid ass dude, man. Cause I like, appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? You make sure you went and got a haircut. Got <laughs> I definitely shit. did. Yeah, but I mean, you 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 made it, bro. You solid and. You you never let me down every single time I ask you to do something or even like I come into your house to get the shirts. You you mean you don't even make me pay. You say here, Yogi, just 
Dude, my wife, we when we went on vacation, we wore your shirts. Hell yeah, yeah, I still got the video. You yeah. guys might find you on a damn commercial one day or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you for coming on Big Yogi's Garage. I appreciate you, man. And um, you know, I don't, I don't have nothing else to ask you. That we talked about just about everything. Well, I definitely, I appreciate you, man, so Thank much. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah. All right. Anytime. So, yeah, for sure. Thank you, man. Thank you guys so much for watching Big Yogi's Garage. Make sure you follow Dirty Mac on Dirty Mac. He has a bunch of uh, pages. What are all your pages? Yeah. Um, we got the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce page. I think the other one just says Dirty Mac. One says Love Life Clothing CEO. My um, primary page is the Dirty Mac one with a mm. U. Yeah. That ain't. If you look me up on YouTube, it's with an I. But if you look it up on Facebook is with a U mm-hmm. for some reason they didn't let me yeah. put an I. They said it wasn't my name, but if I put a U as my name, so I don't know that. Yeah. So yeah, he's he, you're on all social media platforms, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, you can check me out on Instagram. Um, I think it's Low Life Clothing CEO on Instagram. Yeah. As well. And on YouTube, you got some videos, some music videos and stuff. Yep, Dirty Mac, just D I R T Y M A C. Check me out. All right, make sure you guys check out Dirty Mac. Um, he got his clothing line. Uh, you can you can go to the store. There's a store. Where's the store at? Yep, twenty nine zero three Door Street, Higher Thoughts Smoke Shop. Come check us out. I'll be in Monday through Friday. Um, I think we open at like ten o'clock. Probably close at like ten too, for real. Yeah. Stay up and late. Yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you go check it out. Buy some clothes off of him. I want to thank my sponsors, Needle Masters and Maria Escobar. Uh, Dominic Garcia, today's his birthday. Happy birthday, Dom. Um, thank you guys very much for everything. Make sure you subscribe, like, share. Appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you next week on Big Yogi's Garage. Let's go! Vaccine. You guys ready for the podcast? Let's go! Niggas dead in they face like they think Nigga, you ain't my dog, so why would the fuck I feed you?